Hey guys, today we're gonna take you to our newest listing in Coconut Creek. It's it's a listing that Marisa Holt Stellar, a colleague of mine, is gonna help me show to you guys today. Hey Chris, how are you? And usually before we get there, we do a bunch of homework on it. But today I'm running a little late, as you can see in my car behind me, that's Rex. Rex doesn't feel good, he's my golden retriever. Not sure what's going on. He hasn't been eating much and he seems to have some pain in his back legs. Very lethargic. The vet uh, decided to drop him off the vet now. So I'm running a little late and I want to just let Marissa know. Let me call right now. Hi. Hey, morning. How are you? Give me one. Actually, can I give you a call right back? I'm on with my buyer. Okay, I might miss you if you call back. I'm, I'm going to be somewhere, but okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, bye. I'll try you. Okay, bye. Thank you. That girl's always working. What? All right, we dropped Rex off. Let's call back Chris. Hi, Chris. Yeah, I had to drop Rex off at the vet, so I was thinking you know, I was gonna be a little late. But what's the plan for today? I know it's a little different because of the weather. He's he's 15 minutes late. Interior photos and interior video. Okay. And hopefully you can fly the drone and take a few drone shots between the weather. Nope. Okay, since he's running a little late, that gives me time to get caught up. I'll do the homework on the property and stuff like that. Did you do anything? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I have plenty of notes. I think we're going to be fine. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, I'll see you yeah, in a little okay. bit. Okay, bye. Okay, so I just got here. I'm actually standing in the trunk of my car because it's raining. I'm not sure if the rain's going to be good for the camera. Right off the bat, what I love about this house is you can see that it's a corner lot. Now check out this nine car driveway. It's custom brick and it leads all the way to the front door. This type of driveway you don't see in pretty much any of the other homes in this community. Hey Marisa. Hey Chris, how are you? Come Good. on in. Let me show you this great new listing we have in Coconut Creek. I love right off the bat when you walk in here, those high ceilings. That has to be what, 25, 30 feet, right? I'm tall and I always notice the ceiling first and my eye can straight off. I would say 25 feet is a good guess on this. So they're impact. All the windows and fires in this house are impact. In addition to the impact, I noticed plantation shutters, these wood banisters, these railings, they were here when they built this house. So they didn't change them. Some people would paint them, but they did something that's kind of smart. They they just added different types of wood grains and styles throughout the home. It gives a nice little earthy Key West feel because the paints here, it, it, although it looks like it's a gray, it kind of comes off like a light blue. Actually, this whole theme extends into the kitchen. So even in the kitchen, we have the same color palettes with the natural tones and an amazing quartz countertop. A farmhouse sink in all white, and I love that they finished this with this really thick modern finish. It is, it's actually a little bit a double slab. Yes. In a farmhouse sink. Great contrast in colors. So it's just, it doesn't look like it's a pure white. It's all an off white next to the darker gray, which is also still a light gray. It goes really well with the stainless steel appliances. Love it. Then even the lighting fixtures are sort of in the same style, like a farmhouse style. We have under cabinet lighting. Over the backsplash to tie it all together. We don't need all the lighting because we already said this is a very bright, open, airy space as is, but it really kind of makes everything pop. I kind of like this here. This bar, you probably have bar stools here. And if you have a million kids like me, <laughs> you can be making them food here. They can be watching TV. And there's also the breakfast nook that we just showed you a second ago. Some kids can be eating, doing homework. Other kids can be sitting at this little bar area or just watching TV here. This is a comfy couch, by the way. Is it? Is this thing? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure everything's negotiable, right? And then right off of yeah. here is what I think is going to be my favorite part of the house. So another massive sliders. Ooh. A slider that's heavy goes into a covered patio area. You know, you can sit out here for a morning coffee. Oh, cool. So back here, I see that they're putting in a, a pool, the neighbors are, which is great for property values for the community. Can they fence that area off right there? So the neighbor is going to put the fence back up. It's the same color kind of style fencing that's already existent. So it's going to be completely fenced in once they're finished. Awesome. And the roof looks pretty good. I know you can't probably tell from the camera. I did pull permits to see that they did pull a roof, but I didn't get the date. When... 2009 on the roof. So they're... And that's everything. a concrete roof. So that's 30 to 50 years. So you got plenty of life on the roof. Awesome. So we should take it upstairs. Oh, uh, what? We should take it upstairs. Hmm. Let's move on. So come with me. We have a nice bathroom. Go to sink. So 
finish. So downstairs, they have one half bath? Yes, one half bath downstairs. There's two more bathrooms upstairs. One that's part of the primary suite, and the other one is shared between two additional bedrooms. This is my favorite part upstairs, is this loft area. So currently, there's nothing here, but you can make it a playroom. You can have a chair with a table here to enjoy just some additional living space. So two secondary bedrooms to the left. There's bedroom one, bedroom two. And they both have good sized closet space. You can make this, uh, if you don't need it as an extra bedroom, you can turn it into an exercise room. Now you can't really tell it today because of it's overcast, but those windows are facing south. So there's gonna be a ton of natural light. Yes, and actually the owner pointed that out. This property never really gets hot even in the summer because of their exposure, the, the sun never really penetrates inside. So. And here's the bathroom that's very clean, well-maintained with a tub. So if you have little ones, you give them a little bath there. This scared me for a minute because I didn't know. I thought it was like pipes coming out of the wall. But that's actually pretty clever. They made little hooks, like towel hooks out of pipes. Yes. Upstairs, you see the paint's in the same color scheme. It's a little darker than downstairs, but it's in the same color family. And here's your primary bedroom. It uh, has vaulted ceilings, which is what I particularly like about this room. It has three windows for more light. And this is a king-size bed, so there's a lot of furniture in here, so you can tell this is an, actually a very good room. If you choose to put a door on your camera, you can leave it open. And leads right to a double vanity sink. Good amount of closet space, and then you have a privacy for your toilet behind the closed door here. So you can use that while someone else is you know, doing their thing somewhere else in here. One other thing, the owner asked the owner what they particularly love about this house, and they pointed out proximity to the Sauvers Expressway and the Turnpike, and also the promenade shops are right down the street, so for restaurants and some, you know, entertainment. And it's a very desirable family neighborhood. You have great schools all around, and kids are riding their bikes and playing on the street. It's a great place to live. So oftentimes when people look at Florida, they don't really consider Coconut Creek, but you kind of should because the, the price is a little more affordable if you're comparing it to say Parkland or even some parts of Coral Springs and Boca. It, does, it doesn't have that Boca Parkland name that a lot of people go for, so, but it's right here. Literally, if you threw a rock across the street, you'll be in Coral Springs and you throw it a little bit further, you'll be in Parkland and Boca, so that's right. All right, so we are outside. Now it is raining, so we're gonna go kind of quick. It's fine. outside patio, you can see there's papers. There's a hot dog that stays with the house. The neighbor is putting it in the pool. So they took away the fence, but this is actually fully fenced property. Once they're all settled in, you might want to also put some extra grass uh, down. You can beautify it any which way you want, but there's a good amount of space. Well, we're getting soaked here. Yeah. It's raining a lot harder than it probably appears on camera. So we're going to go inside. But if you want to see this house, just give us a call. Yes. Marissa go. She's like, Chris, just shut up and go inside, right? I know, seriously, my hair, Chris. <laughs> so, all right, but you can give us a call. We'll love to show you to this house. And if you want to sell your house down here, we'll love to help you out with that too. All right, we'll see you in the next video. And if you want to see how my dog's doing that I dropped off earlier, stick around. I'll give you a quick update. Picked up that. Rex from the vet. Uh, they're not too sure. He thinks he might have an injury. So they gave him some uh, painkillers and mu muscle relaxer. And he's doing a lot better. So they said to keep an eye on him over the next couple of days and see how he does.